As a sourcing agent based in Shenzhen, our mission is to empower global clients to get high quality products from China. We have trained engineers and designers, so we know how to customize production process and we will be with clients from zero to one. Hello everyone, this is Charlotte. Welcome to Rage Sourcing Channel. In this video, we'll show you a complete process of how we work with clients and the whole process of turning your ideas into final products. Let's take this Bluetooth speaker as an example. Step 1. Generate clients' ideas. Basically, there are two types of clients. Type 1. You want to create a brand new product that has never existed before. Type 2. You want to improve the performance of existing product on the market. This case is based on type 1. The client wanted a stylish Bluetooth speaker and sent us his hand-drawn design. We arranged the video conference to fully understand his needs. When we talked with him, we recorded his concrete product design and how it would function. Based on the description, we drew up the design. The sketches are as detailed as possible, with labels explaining the various features and functions. So we can see the layout of this Bluetooth in these drawings. Our designers can customize your logos on it, and we have a touch bar, so when you touch it, the light will change. And we also have a very special charging port, which can hide your charging light. Step 2. Engineering research. It includes planning, casting, market research. To create a product, no one wants to make it just a one-time use of without continuous lifetime in the market, even if the time and speed is of significance. Now that the brain comes out, why not make the story go further? In China, you can easily find out prototyping facilities or mass production manufacturers to move forward with drawing straight away, as the machine can make it perfectly. Your first drawings often come from the concepts, but with little knowledge and experience on production, the feasibility might be out of consideration. What if you found a cosmetic issue on product is actually the material color problem instead of the surface treatment option? Yes, you can fix it after prototyping or even after tooling, but you've paid your previous work, money, and time. When the product is not only a part made with one kind of material, we always need to consider if they are match or not. It means the initial research and analysis and drawing is of great necessity. So, what we do when working on the initial research? First, we have to fully understand the background and selling point of the new product. Second, we have to figure out the functions that require as fixed end alternatives. Third, we need to targeting selling user group. For example, this speaker would be more popular among the youth. Fourth, we need to botch him for the development of the product. Only after confirming the above, we can start the drawing analysis. Let's move on to the detailed design then. The first thing is about the material using. We help clients find out the most cost-effective materials which meet the functions perfectly. We also prepare some other functions to fulfill the downside markets. And the second one is about the structure. We need to confirm whether the design is suitable to be produced. And we also need to confirm whether it will result in a high defect rates in the production process due to appearance or to functional requirements. And there might be some questions like, is there a better structural optimization scheme to optimize production cost? Then we can move to the surface treatment. We will list all the surface treatment that can achieve the effect of the product. And we will look for better alternatives for the cost optimization of different surface treatments. 
All of the above can't leave either the consideration of the sales effects as well as the end user experience or the production feasibility and efficiency. You would think nothing can be solved before taking action, but I can ensure more analysis with production adjustive initially would definitely help speed up the action. So you don't have to look back for problem solving frequently. For the research, only in-house analysis sometimes squeezes your brain because each member involved might be in the same mindset for the same design and the result is a full finished product. More discussion with different manufacturers and engineers will broaden your horizon. Don't be hesitate to share your idea if there's no privacy pattern influence. But NDA is still a must to sign with who you share the drawings. Step 3. Prototyping After researching and confirming the specifications, the cost of the product, we schedule a prototype to be made. As mentioned above, the goal of prototyping is to create a finished product to use as a sample for mass production. To create a prototype of this project, we will need a 3D rendering. First, our engineers use CAD software to create 3D models, and then we use 3D printing machines to produce physical samples at a lower cost with a quicker turnaround time. So we can see these models from our 3D printing machines, we can see the lines, the speakers, and the basic functions are shown on this model. We also use this to test the basic functions of the speakers. Step 4. Tooling and mount test After the prototype, a meeting for display will be held with our clients. We present the 3D model as well as the specific engineering details during the meeting. Upon confirmation, we arrange the factory to open the mode for each part because this product is fresh. Each part of this product needs to be made with a new mode. After the mode of each part is done, we follow up the factory and do the mode test together. Testing is the most important part before the mass production, which determines the quality of the product. Step 5. Mass production arrangement After the mode test is completed, we will start mass production. Our quality control engineer will follow up the whole production process. Among them, the most important step is to review the parts of the products that are mass manufactured from the mode factory. Before formally putting into assembly, the quality control engineer will gradually verify whether the size match and whether there are any defects in the appearance. After the parts are confirmed, they will be put into production line for assembly. Every step of the assembly process will have strict implementation standards, and our quality control engineers will always follow up the production line. Step 6. Supervising After the product is completed, our quality control engineer will conduct a sampling inspection. It includes wire durability test, plug test, friction test, anti-collision test, and optimization test while using. In addition, the appearance and function inspection of products is a must during sampling inspection. Step 7. Shipping After all the details are checked, a proper logistics channel from Regis Partner List will bring the products to you intactly. This is Regis Sourcing. Our team can not only assist you with sourcing, but can also help you turn your ideas into reality. Almost all sourcing companies are capable of sourcing, which is not surprising. But, a truly professional sourcing company should also have the ability to produce. Working with us, you will be able to bring your ideas to life. 
We know the factory process better than the clients. We understand the client's needs better than the factory. Get your ideas, understand your needs, design the drawings, discuss the details, build the mold, produce the sample, confirm the final version, and then put it into production. This is the right place if you're looking for a manufacturing agent or a China sourcing company. If you want to know more details about our service, feel free to contact us at rzsourcing.com. We're glad to talk with you.